Hey everyone, it is about 1.08, I've got about approximately about eight, yeah, about 18 minutes um, or less, yeah, about 18 minutes, 16 minutes or something like that, you know, 18 minutes left uh, on my lunch break. And, you know, I, I just thought I'd want to talk about something, and you're going to probably hear this through audio anyway. But I kind of thought I'd talk about something. I'm sitting right here in the park across the street from my job, so figured, you know, probably the best chance and opportunity I got. But, you know, when I did that video where I showed you a lot of the fan fiction stories and artwork that I had basically collected along with a few other items throughout the past 15 plus years. If that's hard to believe. Um, I mentioned that there were some stories that I collected in there that were very mature in nature, if you get my drift. Very adult and very mature in nature. And some of them were done by this guy we're going to initiate him Gavit we're going to just to call him GA GA if you will you probably heard the name briefly when it's just now but we'll just call him GA and he did some of these stories in a very like I say very adult very mature manner if you catch my drift well anyway there were several stories that he he had done that were original. I guess you could say they were, they were original because basically some of his stories, if not a majority of his stories, always used the same wording and narration, if not uh, you know, basically the same narration, the same wording. If not the same, if not having the character speak the same words with a few changes here and there. Well, some of these stories, three of them, were basically like a series featuring original characters of his. And then, like I said, he did some other ones based on a very, based loosely, and I mean very loosely, on a very popular video game franchise and mostly the comic book. Saturday morning cartoon version of it. Well, anyway, point is, they would always have something, they would always have the same kind of premise. And recently, I, when I've reread these, I've come to say to myself that, no, I've come to notice and say to myself that, you know, not only is he using the same wording, narration, and having the characters speak very similar, almost speak the same things as in the previous story, but he's having them do things that, well, normally, when you think about it, would imply that one, mostly the female, is going to be Preton is going to basically be uh, fertilized, if you know what I mean. And through the fertilization, you know, life, you know, like through fertilization, let's just say the grass is going to grow in her garden. Or a special flower is going to grow in her garden. And when I read some of these, like, um, he has two that are connected to his original uh, trio of stories. And in two of them, he has one of the main characters, the female one, that gets fertilized, if you will. He has the female, basically, um, if you will. Well, the female is kind of a... Let's just say the female is F slash F with another female. Yeah, F slash F with another female. 
Well, basically, basically, here's the thing, though. You know, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Um, basically, the, the point is this. The, the, the point is this, um, if you will. Basically, the point is this. Um, she allowed. Okay, it's like the other female involved um, in this in this in this series, in this relationship, if you will. She allows, basically. Um, She allows her lover, the female that gets, like, say, impregnated. You know, she allows her to have, well, technically, so to, you know, Technically, she allows her to have other lovers. And some of them are males, if you know what I mean. You know, they're males. So, you could kind of understand where this might be going. Well, basically what this guy adds in to kind of different, kind of make each story different, um, if you will, You know, kind of make each story different, if you will. What he does is he has okay. There's this okay. Like there's a second part in the story in the story series, and basically in this part, both females commit the love. They submit the love, if you will. By having the female that gets fertilized, by having the one female through her own unique ways, um, if you will, fertilize and plant the seeds, if you will, and plant the seeds, if you will, and fertilize the garden, the other female's garden. And you think, okay, that's fine. That's, that's common. But then, here's what's crazy about that. Throughout that story, and throughout the other story, the female that gets fertilized, if you will, You know, she's allowed, as well as the other female in question, the other female has a unique way of doing things, uh, has a unique uh, uh, distinction about her. They both, you know, allow each other to have different lovers. So like I was saying, the one female, and I do apologize if I sound a little you know, kind of distant in uh, speaking here. I've been trying to keep an eye out for things. 
in people, if you will. But both allow each other to have different lovers, whether it's female or male. Well, any time the, the female that gets fertilized, we'll call the fertilized female, the, gar the, fem the garden female, if you will, is with a male, she tells them to get this, breed her. And it's like, what? It's like you read these kind of stories and you're like, wait a minute. One female, her female lover through her own unique ways has already fertilized her and planted the seed in her garden. And yet she's telling the male lovers that she's allowed to have along with some female lovers, hey, go ahead and breed me. And basically she's saying the same thing. She's saying fertilize me and plant your seed in my garden. Now, you might, now one might think, well, why would she do that? Well, here's the unique perspective about this one character. This one character is a shapeshifter. That's right, she's a shapeshifter. So, by being a shapeshifter, she can take on any form. She can be a bunny, which is a main, uh, uh, main species in the stories. She can be character from a cartoon or a comic book. She can be a, another species of animal, a hybrid of an animal, whatever. But it seems that anytime she does shapeshift into any one of those, she basically indicates, hey, to the male, to one of the male lovers she, she is allowed to have and vice versa for her female lover, it's almost like she's telling them to do exactly what her female lover through her unique way did. And that's basically fertilized her with their seed, fertilized and plant their seed in her garden. And it's like, what the heck? And then if that's not enough, and if that's not confusing enough, here's something that really tips the scales. Here's something that really tips the scales, folks. Like I said, he does stories, some of the mature adult stories, based around certain video game franchises that are loosely based, that are loosely, ba uh, certain cartoons and comics that are loosely based off a very popular video game franchise. And you think, okay, fine. And of course, you would also think, think if you know what franchise I'm talking about, that the more you common pairing that any fan, fan writer or adult mature fan writer would want to put together is a certain princess and a certain half-cyborg. You would think that. And it happens. But then, what's crazy about this, is they also have a certain half-cyborg and a certain princess at separate times get it on with a certain young two-tail. Yeah. And then what's crazy about this is with the two tail, the way the, narr the author uses in the narration, he puts the common, he puts a word that you normally would associate with fertilization, planting a seed in a garden, in a female's garden, if you know what I mean, and that's the word of mating. And there's one story that he does does based around that like I say is loosely based on the cartoon and comics that are based on the video game franchise where the two-tailed and the princess get together and he uses the word mating or mated several times and to me that's implying well wait a minute you're saying that this young two-tail is basically trying to and, and then the way he describes how he and he describes it, he says he fertilizes her. He literally says he puts his, fertilizes his seed, if you know what I mean. So, you know, it makes you wonder, you know, basically what, he's, what this author is implying in these stories. And what I can imply, what I can gather... Alright, what I can gather...
is he's basically indicating that this young t two tailed character is planting the seed in the princess's garden to be fertilized. And he even uses the mated he even uses the mated word for like the two the two girl characters getting it on. And to me it's like you know what the This writer thinking with all this stuff, especially with these stories based on video games and all, which are based on cartoons and comics that are based on video games. You know, it's like, what is he thinking? So I leave that to you. What are your thoughts on this author, G. A. What are your thoughts on what, on how he's done these stories? What do you, what do you think he's been trying to imply? Let me know down below. Comment if you like. I'm about to head back to work. God bless. Take care.